Scott Brayton, oh my gosh. Larry Curry told me a story once. Larry Curry was the crew chief for Menard when Menard was running all those Buicks and uh, Scotty was uh, the chief mechanic. And they would rent the Speedway to test those Buick engines. So one day they're testing them and, and Curry told me, he goes, we had nitrous in the fire bottle. We're testing nitrous oxide so we could cheat. I mean, all guys cheat. That's the way. It ain't cheating till you get caught, right? It's not cheating till you get caught. I know one time AJ Foyt, AJ Foyt, his car gets rolling off the scales. His car came out of the garage area and they rolled it across the scales. And they're pushing it out towards the pit lane and there's water dripping off the tires. Water dripping. Well, he had, the car was light. So he had filled the tow tires with water so it'd be heavier when it crossed the scale. So they get it in the pit lane, take the tow tires off, put the regular tires back on it, car's underway. Er they all cheat. Everybody cheats. If you're not, the old saying is, if you're not cheating, you ain't trying, right? So uh, they're testing this nitrous bottle. So they have a, 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 a button on the steering wheel that he could push, and it would turn the nitrous on, and this thing would increase the horsepower. I don't know how much, but it would... And so Brayton, he would come out of the corner, out of the fourth turn, and out of the second turn, and as he went down the big long stretch, he would hit that button, and he would count to himself, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, and lift, and then he'd pull off, and see if the car would stick going through the corner. And it did, and it did. And he held that button down until the damn thing didn't stick anymore, and he crashed. But that was Brayton. I mean, he was just that brave. He, uh, I never, it, it, for the first first Brickyard in 1994, there were a bunch of IndyCar guys trying to, you know, to, to qualify. Danny Sullivan did it, Foyt did it. Um, Stan Fox tried to do it. And uh, Brayton was gonna do it. So I was across the street in the IndyCar offices, and I was doing things with Indy, with uh, Channel 23. And uh, we, were, we were having a meeting, Donald Davidson and a handful of people about our coverage for the Brickyard. And we hear this boom. Man, that didn't sound good. And uh, all of a sudden we see a helicopter leave the infield, the medical helicopter. What the hell? And it was Brayton. <laughs> Brayton was testing his stock car. And in a true Brayton style, was standing on the gas and going in as deep as he could until it didn't stick no more. And man, he hit that outside wall. That was the big boom. And ricocheted back in, hit the inside guardrail, almost wound up down in the ditch. And that's when they took out the infield seats during the brickyard. You know, a 3,500 pound car hitting the wall at 170 miles an hour was, it, the inertia and the things were different than uh, an Indy car doing it. Didn't dissipate the energy like they did, but that was just Scotty Brayton. And that morning in 1996, when he had qualified and he was on the pole, then he got bumped. And he withdrew his car and re-qualified to put himself back on the pole. I mean, just a gutsy, unbelievable. And I remember doing it, and I still have the sound of him interviewing him, the the the, the, the like the Monday or like the Sunday after that day, the day after he had done it. A nice, great interview. And then that Friday, he got killed in practice. But just just what a again a guy that just loved the 500, loved the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. His whole family still does.